Hey y'all, in this episode of this Pod Blast, let's talk about checking your attitude. Happy Thanksgiving. Turkey, you're about to get cooked. How do you cook your turkey, Mr. Jones? Well, I tell you, I love to cook my turkey with gratitude. I'm going to smoke a turkey for tomorrow, for Thanksgiving, because I am so grateful for the people in my life. I'm going to smoke that turkey to the bone, bro, and make sure that they absolutely enjoy this Thanksgiving because I'm grateful for everything that they've done for me. Oh, man, that, that's awesome. I, I, too, am super grateful. In fact, uh, I was asking my daughter as I dropped her off at school on Tuesday, you know, what she was most had, which, which she had the most fun through the course of the weekend. And I thought for sure it was going to be a birthday party. But you know what she said, man? Come on. She said, when you read the story to me last night, I mean, so smoking hot. Love my kids. So grateful for the little game changers that they are. So so how old is that baby? Uh, She's three years old. Three years old. And she's giving herself a high five (laughs) and celebrating those wins. She's grateful for life. That's awesome. You know, I I, got to say this to y'all. Quite often because of all of the things that occur in our life, we never really stop to think about how we are loving the people in our life. Let let me just touch on that just for a second, y'all. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, uh, and and, and I love Thanksgiving, uh, but I don't love it the way that y'all probably love it. So let me explain what I mean by that. I love to show my gratitude to the people in my life every time I get an opportunity to do so. I am not waiting for one day on the calendar that's called Thanksgiving to show my gratitude. All of the things that people do for me in my life, people who come through our programs, people who appreciate what we do and as a result of that, give back to us in so many ways. I am not going to wait for one day in November to show them my gratitude. I'm encouraging you to think about this. Your significant other is likely putting out for you, being there for you, doing things for you, your mom or your dad, your sister or brother or good friends, people at work. What are you doing to show that gratitude on a more regular basis than waiting for one day out of the year to show them that gratitude. Man, I absolutely love that. And I know in time pod blast past, you talked about having people love you the way you want to be loved. Oh my gosh. Or showing the gratitude the way you would want to receive it. So what would you say to the viewers that only know one way to love or give gratitude. Yeah, you know, uh, and I've said this before, and and I know that y'all get this. Quite often, we are loving the people in our lives the way we've seen other people love folks, or how we've read in a book that we should know what their love language is. Or uh, This is a whole lot simpler than that, y'all. Check this out. What would be the absolute best way to know how to love your partner, how to love your children, how to love the friends that you have in your life. I'm going to tell you the absolute best way to know how to love them is to ask them how they want to be loved. Quite often your significant other is telling you that, but they're doing it when they're upset, when they're frustrated, when they're pissed off. So take the time in the calmness of a day, take the time in just the sweetest of moments to significantly change everything that is going on in your world by finding out how the people in your life want to be loved. And my question to you is how will they know how you want to be loved if you've never shared with them? Have you even ever thought about it? My definition of love that I operate on on a daily basis is I love the people in my life for who they are and for who they aren't. 
So what I'm saying to you is whoever they are or whoever they aren't, you can love them for who they are rather than who you want them to be or who you hope that they could be. So I'm encouraging you to first of all, have the courage to have that conversation in peace. How do you want to be loved? Yeah, so Mike, though, I got to bring this up because, you know, it's Thanksgiving and families gather and there's a bit of stress in some households around this uh, gratitude and how it's shared and love and how it's shared. E even like my five and three year old may be displaying bad behaviors and what that may mean to other family members. So what do you do in those situations so that it's joyous and you're grateful for that time rather than stress? Yeah, well, you know, there's so much that every individual can do. One of the things that we teach at Discover Leadership Training, you're probably about to become aware of it at the Thanksgiving dinner. And what we teach is there is an I in team. Let me explain what that means in the context of this conversation. Every person at your Thanksgiving dinner matters. Every one of them counts. Every attitude that they display every word that they speak, every choice that they make during this Thanksgiving dinner is going to matter either positively or negatively. So what I'm encouraging you to do is to create an atmosphere where there can be love and gratitude and appreciation for the people that are there. If you happen to have a bad actor there, you know, you're just going to have to deal with that. I don't know what else to tell you but I want you to know that every person there is gonna make this the best Thanksgiving ever, or they're going to somehow end up with the sum total of what could have been optimal. So what's your favorite food then to have at the Thanksgiving table? Hey baby, smoked turkey. That's why I'm smoking that baby up. Okay, so, so uh, I like to deep fry my turkey. Oh, that's awful, but okay. <laughs> What, what about the sides? What, I know you got some fancy sides. Well, some... you know, I grew up down south here, man. So, you know, some good old cornbread dressing. Mm -hmm. Somebody's mouth's out there watering because I know mine is right now. Some cranberry sauce on that dressing. Some giblet gravy. All good for me, man. Yeah, I'm definitely grateful for the gathering of family and definitely grateful for Discover Leadership Training. In fact, I remember the very first time I was on team and I messed up all your shirts and you still invited me back. So I'm grateful for that too. And I'm grateful that you came back, man. And I want to say this, on this day before Thanksgiving, on this Thanksgiving Eve, be grateful that there is an edge available for you. And as you are being grateful, get out on that edge. Because if you're not living your life on that edge, you are taking your fault. Too much room. Here we go now.